This photograph that I've photographed of my son is a takeoff from one of his fantasies. On Saturday mornings, he watches the cartoons, and there's a, a sequence from the Master of the Universe with a character in it called He-Man. Uh, He-Man pulls out a sword from his back, and a lightning rod, uh, a lightning bolt hits the sword, and he becomes a big, powerful creature. So uh, after seeing the fantasy jewelry that we're working with, Richard wanted to portray himself like this, and he pulled out his own little plastic sword. And from that, we got the idea, hey, we've got all these elements together from the fantasy jeweler, so let's do a shot like that. And uh, it was an interesting ex exercise for myself, and at the same time, my son had his own personal fantasy fulfilled. Peter's finished photograph, on the left, is a darkroom created composite of many separate images, some specially created for this picture, and others, like the castle shot on the right, culled from Peter's files to become part of a new fantasy photograph. When I chose my castle photograph, I looked through all the different kinds of uh, transparencies. In this particular case, I wanted to have the, the castle in the middle of the photograph, so I chose one that had just that specific effect, but it had something I didn't want, and that was water in the foreground. So I took the transparency and I made a masking for it to get rid of the water in the foreground. Whatever element it is, it's 99% uh, of them are real. In one particular case, I found uh, it was not a good timing for me to go out and photograph lightning, uh, so I decided to recreate it myself. I painted the lightning. I sketched it out so that all the, the curves and, and the, the design of it looked real. And then I found this paint, which is the kind of paint that they use for the road barriers, which has a glass bead inside. And it can glow when light hits it from a, from a specific angle. And when that happens, the light reflects about 100 times the amount of light. It's, it's an incredible brilliance that it has. By using a diffusion filter, which uh, there are many different diffusion filters, and each one has a different effect. Uh, the flash that is hitting the sword was um, another shot that I had taken a long time ago. I was up in an aircraft looking out the window, and I love clouds. Uh, it's one of, one of my own fantasies. Someday I'm going to be flying through the clouds. And um, I have always a box of filters with me. So I photographed the sun one day with a filter, uh, a star filter, a special kind of star filter that has many, many different points to it rather than your typical four-pointed star. And it was uh, an underexposed sun with a, a polarizing filter, so I could make sure that the sky itself would be black. I had to get some very ominous looking clouds in the background, uh, like in the cartoon. So we, I was searching for red clouds, uh, which happened to come out of a, a shot that I took in Florida, a sunrise. Once I had as many elements as I could find, I then sketched the thing out and realized, okay, now it's time to photograph the boy, and that's what we did. Okay, here we go. Let's get the light ready. Richie, hold it there. Let me just re fix the reflector. Good. Elshie, come on in. Let's get the uh, helmet on. Right. Hold it still, Richard. Good. Jerry, you want to start with the uh, smoke? All right, I think I've got it together. A little light here. Okay, I've got it. Looking good. Okay, hold. Take the sword. Okay, bring it over towards Mummy's side. That's it. A little bit further. No, the other way. The other way. That's it. Right. Okay, are we ready? Go ahead and blow some smoke. Blow smoke. There we go. Terrific. Oh, terrific. Okay. Here we go. Richard. Terrific. Richard, let's get some expression in your face. A little um, meanness. Ah, anger. Here we go. Right. That's good. <laughs> okay. Richard, good. All right into the lens. Looking That's at all it. the elements that I had and photographing the, the boy, my son, uh, in such a sequence so that the lighting effects would be the same as the elements in the background. I used a red filter over the, uh, over the, the backlight that, that illuminates the, the helmet so that it looks like the light coming from the red sky. Um, we wanted to get a little bit of extra dimension into the picture so that there would be a relationship between him in the foreground and the castle in the background. And being a kind of a battle scene, 
We wanted to have a little action, so we put smoke in behind them, as though the ruins had just been burning down or whatever. And uh, we created that uh, a couple of feet behind them. So therefore, we had some depth to that picture itself, sort of a, a linking element between what happens in the background, what happens in the foreground. It gives me that indescribable middle ground. Once we have all the elements together, I take everything into the dark room and I start sizing the different elements onto a piece of paper where I actually, my, my first initial stage is that I trace them out so that I can see what a pencil sketching of this idea looks like. So that afterwards I can use that as a registering mask for where each specific element starts and ends. Great, here we have it. Oh, uh, wow. Four versions. Really I think this is about it. We've wow. got this one with the lightning coming mm. straight down. And it's a good expression on your face too. And then here we have a bright red sky, which I think is a little bit too bright. Oh, this is it. That's definitely it. This one and this one. Um, here we've got more detail oh, in the... Oh, um, fierce expression mm. there. Yeah, in the blade. Great. Okay, I think this is going to be the one right Smoke here. Smoke is super too. Terrific. Great. Right. Right. What do you think, Rich? Do you That's like it? Dead. Yeah, it's really neat. Okay, I think we got it. One fantasy fulfilled. <laughs>